Welcome everyone to SPH3U Grade 11 Physics. So we're going to start off this year um, with uh, an introduction, of course, into some of the basic things that we need to do to achieve um, uh, discoveries in science, specifically in physics. So we're going to start off with a unit called measurement and analysis. So the purpose of any scientific discipline is to make sense of the mechanics and or the nature of the relationships we observe within the natural world. And the primary tools that we use to achieve this goal are experimentation and mathematical analysis. This section of the course explores these tools and techniques specifically. Um, so we're going to start off talking about um, standard units. Metric is the preferred unit of measurement in science. And metric is often referred to as SI, which stands for System International. Of course, that is supposed to be pronounced in French because um, metric was invented by the French. SI has also been referred to as the MKS system, which stands specifically for meters, kilograms, and seconds. This is more specific to physics. And the reason why is this little anomaly here using kilograms. The reason why that's a bit odd is the base unit in metric for mass is the gram. And in chemistry, the gram is what we use. But in physics, we choose the kilogram, which is actually not the base unit. Well, why do we do that? And the reason why it has to do with a little bit of history. Before um, we used SI units, we used Imperial, which was um, an English system for the most part. Um, so weight, for example, and mass was measured in pounds. Now, the pound is closer to the kilogram than it is to the gram, because one kilogram is approximately equal to 2.2 pounds, but one gram is equal to approximately 0 0.0022 pounds. This relationship is a little bit closer than this one. As a result, we work with the kilograms because it was just closer and the numbers were a little bit more natural. 